A two-room school in Ola just got some pretty big upgrades. And CBS 2's Ariana Piper attended the grand opening of this historic building. I'm outside the Ola School, which was built back in 1910. And with these renovations, students are expected to start school on Monday. Everything is state-of-the-art brand new. So we have uh, lots of room. Again, we've been in the hall all in one room for the last three years. And so now we have our windows again, we have our space, we have our playground. Um, and it's beautiful. Everything is brand new on the inside. Amy Davis, the Ola School head teacher, has a long history with the school. She currently teaches 18 kids ages kindergarten to sixth grade. I went to school here and my mother was a teacher here. I've been the teacher here. I taught my daughters here. Before the school year in 2020, the school district discovered there were some safety concerns at Ola School and students were moved to the community center until upgrades were complete. Finally, the time has come. They have been so excited. They've been helping us pack up today, but there, we've been every day. It's like, how much longer until we move back in? Davis says the community really came together to help get the schoolhouse up and running for the kids. And so they see their grandparents and their uncles and their aunts all coming together. And now the students are helping come together and we are doing it together. And that's that's the most important part. The Ola community also raised funds and obtained grants to keep the school open. One former teacher, Shannon Miller, has made the school renovations a priority. It's in my DNA. I am a teacher. And so when I saw what was happening with the school, I felt a need to get involved and to save the school. Miller says she has been a chairman on the Save Our School Committee since October 2019. She says she learned a lot from this experience. It was really interesting starting the process of being chairman of the SOS Committee, especially starting to go and get grants because I have never been a grant writer. Miller says she's excited to see everything come together. I'm excited that the inside is almost done. Very excited. Uh, we still have a work to do. Uh, we still need to reside, house wrap and reside, and paint the outside, but weather closed in on us, so we couldn't help that. But uh, that's the big major part of the renovation is done. Miller says they are still accepting donations for the school to finish all of their projects. Another fun fact, this school is listed on the National Register of Historic Buildings. In Ola, Ariana Piper, CBS 2 News.